Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it seems to me that the question is going to be uh, the Supremes, the Supreme Court. How are they going to handle this situation uh, with Trump? And then on the other side uh, of the uh, pond, as a matter of fact, uh, King George. What's going to happen there? Is he just going to be like King George light for another five years? Or uh, what's going to happen with King George? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the Supreme Court, how they're going to treat uh, Donald Trump. And then uh, we're going to touch on King uh, Charles. I think I called him King George in the introduction, but uh, King Charles. So, um, so let's see. So the Supreme Court, um, you've got uh, six uh, conservatives, three um, liberals, um, but they believe that the arguments are going to uh, convince the liberals um, not to take the case, I believe. Um, so we'll see uh, how that goes. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. What in the world is going to happen here? So democracy, who would believe that it's so um, fragile and still complicated? You know, I'm going to adjust this uh, camera a little bit. I think that's better. Yeah. So who would believe that it would be this, this complicated? Um, the justices, are they going to... I'm going to say they're going to rule in, in Donald Trump's favor. Um, Three cards. One, two, three. I don't think they'll be doing this necessarily for Donald Trump's favor, but um, I think they'll see this as the uh, complicated legal way that this has to go forward. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a seven of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles is always wondering if, I, if we did enough. Yeah, they're looking at this, wanting to make sure, did we do enough? We don't want to do too much. Um, interesting. The, oh, and the tarot card is the definite end to something. This is something that will bring an end to, to this issue. And then the two of swords are having to choose a way to go. These cards are great for this question. So the Supreme Court, um, are they going to rule in favor of Trump is what I asked. Well, they're going to look at this in the end and worry about did they do enough or could they have done more, which means that there's going to be some sort of a measured um, decision about this in some way. Um, the second card up, though, is the Tower card, which is the, an absolute end, so it's a disaster. Uh, the good thing about a disaster is something new has to start after that, but still, this is a disastrous end. So have they done enough? Then the tower card shows up, and then the final uh, card here, you might want to say the final outcome for this little three card draw, is the two of swords, truth and justice, rules and law, having to choose between one and the other. So, th I don't, this doesn't tell me that they're going to rule in favor of Donald Trump. This tells me that they're going to be very careful about the decision they do make. And that is the opposite of ruling for Donald Trump. Uh, doesn't mean that still what they decide might not, uh, in the short term, seem to be a benefit to him. But I think in the long term, uh, it'll be a benefit to the democracy if the democracy survives. <laughs> so, there's that. So now we'll talk about um, King Charles. Um, is he going to abdicate the throne? Period. Not right now. Not in five years, not in 10 years, 
period. Is he going to end up abdicating the throne? One, two, three, which would of course be in favor of William. Three. First card. Ah, short-term plans. Two of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the Two of Wands is, I mean, he's holding the Empire in his hand. Uh, the Two of Wands is short-term plans. The sun is setting. Uh, the Emperor. Very appropriate to have the, the Emperor in this question about King uh, uh, Charles. And then the final card, Materialism. Oh, this is being, being chained to lesser intention. Is it materialism though? Because this almost looks like it could be a magician, but no, this is materialism. Um, Cause this is the number 15 card. So this is lesser intention, definitely. Will he abdicate? He will do what is in um, the best interest of himself in the end. That's what I got. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son... Uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys.